as you said, uh, there have been some announcements made yesterday uh, by the government and by the central bank. Uh, the central bank is trying to provide stability to the financial uh, market uh, and the banking sector. Uh, but those measures uh, are unlikely to prove sufficient uh, to provide the lira with uh, stability over the long term horizon. Uh, everyone knows that uh, what needs to be done uh, by the central bank is to raise interest rates uh, quite substantially. We are speaking about uh, anything between 10 to 15 percent uh, rate hike. Um, so unless the central bank takes this quite drastic step, uh, the lira will remain uh, vulnerable and what we've seen over the past 24 hours is uh, lira stability is unlikely uh, mm. to last. But apart from a uh, substantial rate hike, uh, other steps need to be uh, urgently uh, taken by the Turkish foreign ministry. Your reporter alluded that, um, uh, about this tension between the US and, and Turkey. Um, so unless, as long as this tension prevails, then uh, the lira in, is unlikely to, to stabilize um, uh, over the, the long term horizon. And also, um, Finance Minister Albariak, uh, he needs to swiftly implement fiscal measures mm. uh, to regain confidence uh, amongst investors, to convince them that he's going to um, uh, be in favor of uh, uh, rational uh, fiscal policy. Piotr, what an agreement between the U.S. and Turkey on the release of Andrew Brunson, the pastor they are holding. Would that in of itself bring upsides to the markets here? Or are we talking about just a short-term bounce because of the economic situation and the concerns over the debt burden and inflation in the country? Um, it would certainly bring uh, a relief. Uh, to Turkish lira and local assets. Uh, after all, this latest sell-off that we've witnessed uh, on Friday and in the early trading um, uh, hours in, in, in Asia on Monday was triggered by rising diplomatic tension between Turkey and yeah. the US. But damage has been done already. Even before this diplomatic uh, tension escalated, uh, the lira was one of the worst performing EM uh, currencies. Uh, mainly due to domestic factors, mainly due to the fact that uh, there are concerns about the overheated economy, about uh, significant debt and persistently high inflation at the time when it seems that the central bank has fairly limited room for maneuver to raise interest rates. So a lot, a lot needs to be done by Turkish authorities to regain um, confidence, to regain their credibility.